Test, test, test. One, two, three. Right. <clears throat> My name is Jonathan Sims. I work for the Magnus Institute, London, an organization dedicated to academic research into the esoteric and the paranormal. In which case, there's a room in the archives I used to sleep when working late. I suggest you stay there for now. I'll talk to Elias about whether we can get extra security, but the archives have enough locks for now. It's also supposed to be humidity controlled, and though it hasn't been working for some time, it does mean it's well sealed. Nothing will be sneaking through any window cracks. Oh, I... Okay, thanks. Um, to be honest, I didn't expect you to take it seriously. When I got here, I realised I needn't have worried so much about the time. You were having some argument with Tim about, um, oh, who's that architect he's obsessed with? Robert Smirk. Yeah, that's the one. Please state your name and the subject of your experience. Into that? You're joking. I can assure you this will record just fine. I knew you guys were a bit slapdash, but this is absurd. No doubt you're used to a higher calibre of equipment when pretending to see ghosts in old churchyards and mental institutions. People like a show. People like our show. And even if we do ham it up a bit, even if we do add a bit of sparkle, we're still more respected and evidence-based paranormal investigators than you and your lot. <laughs> we are not paranormal investigators. We are researchers. Scholars. Whatever. The fact is, we may play it up a bit for the camera, but that's because you can only look at temperature spikes and EMF readings for so long. We still only look into genuine, documented supernatural phenomena. You take any ridiculous story from any drugged up, dreaming, traumatised idiot off the street. Vampires, monsters under the bed, mind control, really? Who cares about evidence? Who cares about scientific instruments when you can just tell a story to the Magnus Institute? And yet, you've come to make a statement. Well, yeah, but... Let me guess. None of your respectable paranormal investigators would believe you. Well, let me be quite clear. Chances are very strong that I won't believe you either. But we will take your statement, and we will look into it for you. Now, please state your name and the subject of your experience. My name is Melanie King. I've got a YouTube channel called Ghost Hunt UK. And your statement is regarding... What I saw at the abandoned Cambridge Military Hospital when we were filming there in January 2015. Recording date 17th April 2016. Hold on. The Cambridge Military Hospital. I was under the impression the hauntings there were very well documented. Why would none of your respectable colleagues believe you? I would have thought it would be right up their alley. Because what I saw had nothing to do with the hospital itself. At least I don't think it did. Go on. Well, we'd been angling to film there for months. The show is pretty standard stuff. We head to the location after dark, we explore a bit, we set up the equipment, and then... Of course, we spend some time afterwards analysing the data and... Seeing ghosts. Well, yeah. You know what? Sometimes, sure, we do. We get evidence. Anyway, we'd been angling to go into the CMH for months, uh, but I couldn't get permission. Apparently, there's asbestos in the walls. It makes it uh, too much of a health and safety hazard. It was due to be pulled down and turned into housing development in June, though, so we were on a bit of a deadline. Luckily, we're an independent show. I don't have anyone breathing down my neck or checking my legals about this sort of thing. And it wouldn't be the first time that we were going to do something... Illegal? Unorthodox. And hey, the worst that we've ever got before was a fine. So we figured it wasn't going to be too much of a problem. The team going in was meant to be me, my co-host Andy... Full names, please. My co-host Andy Kane, as well as Peter Warhol on sound and Antonia Farron. Uh, Tony is doing the camera work. Hmm. And you're sure you weren't dreaming? Are you serious? I just had to check every possibility. Obviously, working in your field, you must have quite a powerful imagination. Great! Great! I should have known this was a complete waste of my time. Probably. 
The only corroborating evidence you have is so badly corrupted as to become almost unusable. But we will do what investigation we can. Well, thank you so much. We'll be in touch if we need anything else. Statement ends. Look, Tim, I'd love to discuss this further, but as you can see, I have a recording. Oh, come on. Look, it's not a big deal. We just need to do a few of them again. Out of the question. It's just confusing, if not. Uh, like the garbage man's statement. Mr. Woodward. Yeah, so you said that Alan Parfit was reported missing uh, in August 2009, which had actually be uh, six months after the statement had been given. Obviously, it should have been 2008. I misspoke an eight as a nine. What does it matter? Well, someone noticed. Who? Uh, Josh Cole. Uh, great guy. He's one of the students using our resources for, for a dissertation. Um, oh, and here, in Miss Montauk's statement uh, about her father's killings, you refer to case um, uh, 922-0611 as case um, uh, 110-6922. <laughs> oh, and uh, don't get me started on the other case numbers around the hilltop hauntings. They're a mess. Alleged hauntings. And who... Honestly cares if I misspoke case 9220611 as 1106922. Another student? Uh, well, actually, yes. Um, Samantha Emery. She's lovely. Uh, she's actually doing a PhD in manifestation. I don't care. It's not enough that Gertrude left us with such a pointlessly awkward filing system. Half the time she doesn't even stay consistent in her own records. Um, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I don't really understand the system. The last three digits of the year, then the day, then the month. I don't know why she did it like that, but I can't change it now. Oh, okay. All right, so what happens if more than one statement is given on the same day? I... don't know. It never came up. Was there anything else? Oh, yeah, just one. Good lord. So, in case 816-3103, it isn't clear if Albrecht's wife is called Clara or Carla, because you keep switching back and forth. Well, I'm sorry if I found it hard to read a 200-year-old letter written in cursive by a native German speaker. Who complained about that one? Oh, it's, it's not a complaint. Um... I just noticed, actually. <laughs> it has been something of a... Ugh. Ugh. I see you. Ha! Ah! Whoa! Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, a spider. A spider? Uh, yeah, I tried to kill it. The shelf collapsed. Oh, I swear. Cheap yeah, cells are I... just... Did you, did you get it? I hope so. I think so. Nasty looking thing. <laughs> well, I won't tell Martin. Oh, God. I don't think I could stand another lecture on their importance to the ecosystem. Look, you guys got to go home every day, okay? I didn't. I've been thinking for a long time about what to do when... Well, you know, this happens. Well, thank you. I'm trapped here. It's like I can't move on. And the more I struggle, the more I'm stuck. Martin, you... You're not... Uh... You didn't die here, did you? What? What? No, what? No, I just... No, the, just the way you phrased that. Did you I... think I was a ghost? No, it's... No, no, that's just... The, whatever web these statements have caught you in, well... I'm there too. We all are, I think. A ghost? Really? Shut up, Martin. Supplement. I've been watching Martin. He's been very attentive to my needs and recovery since I returned to work, almost to the exclusion of his own tasks. Previously, I might have ascribed such ministrations to his own lax work ethic, but in the stress of Prentice's attack, I am sure I glanced moments of competence or even cunning that are beyond what his previous work would indicate. Is he playing the fool? 
purposefully failing in his tasks to delay or hinder my investigations? It's possible. I don't enjoy having to have these meetings, John. You know I don't. Well, I'm sorry you're compelled to. I assume you've had another complaint? Yes. Who from this time? Was Dr. Elliot offended I declined to take his apple? Was I too rude to Michael? Okay, so seriously, I don't get why she keeps coming back round here outside of the investigation. She's, uh... I'm... I'm helping her with some of the investigation. Off the record. Oh. Oh. Say no more. Tim, what are you... Don't worry. I'm cool. Good work, boss. Oh, no, Tim, that's... I'll go see not what I... if I can dig anything else out on it's Scott. Really and I'll not let my... you know if she comes back. Yeah, that really isn't my... Oh. And supplemental. Oh, what's the name of that helper of yours? Uh, Martin. No, no, the hot one. He has oh. scars like you, but kind of manages to pull them off. Yes, uh, Tim. Yeah, what's his deal? He gave me the weirdest grin when I came in just now, and like, a thumbs up? I... I wouldn't worry about it. No? He thinks we're sort of... together? Oh, uh, oh, oh, no. You know I'm no, not... No, I, I know. I mean, either I, you just got it in his head. I mean, you're and... nice and all. Yes, and... yes, no, I feel the same way. Right. I mean, I suppose it's better he think that? <sighs> I won't tell if you won't. Right. I'm gonna go then yes yes right <clears throat> right i uh i believe you why are you smiling yes i just um i won't mention it to elias just between us so you don't mind to be quite honest martin i'm I'm really rather relieved. So either give me the key, or find a new archivist. Oh, good lord, don't be so dramatic, John. You know how hard it would be to replace you. I, I don't, actually. But thank you, I suppose. I was actually a meme for a day or two. You do know what that is, don't you? Yes, I know what a meme is. At the time, I had convinced myself that it was because of how smart I was, since he was, to put it charitably, not very clever. But I have since come to the conclusion that I was a deeply annoying child. Look, George, it's not... You don't need to worry. I mean, I'm not on, I'm not on drugs or anything. <laughs> what? I could be on drugs. Sure. You talk about God and death and demons, nice and loud. And watch people bend over backwards not to listen to what you're saying. No one cares. If you say so. But I feel that a lot. Oh. M more or less than normal. Hard to say when every nerve ending's on fire. Hard to tell degrees. Third degree, maybe? Oh, oh sorry. Sorry, I was... It was a... Statement of Lester Chang regarding the cleaning habits of his father in a... Uh, uh, right, um... Hello, Admiral. How have you been? Yeah, I've missed you too. I just... I'm, I'm trying to... Find you on a belly ramp. Or, uh, 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 wrong hand, cat. Wrong hand. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, just... Uh, um, sorry, Admiral. It's, it's been a hard few days. Hope I haven't upset Georgie too much. How can she be mad? She's got you. Yep, that's your ass. Thanks for that. Look, I, I know I, I love you too, but can I have my lap back? I kind of... I kind of need to... Ah, oh, okay, okay. Belly rubs. You don't have to worry about all this stuff, do you? Bit over your head, I guess. Bet the world ends and you do just fine. Oh, right. You done? Okay. Fine. Uh, what is something you would never choose to tell me? When we first met, I thought you were putting on that accent to sound more impressive. Oh. Oh, John, I'm so oh, no, sorry. It's, it's all right. I, I mean, I, I, 
I guess I did exaggerate it. It's a long time ago, anyway. Shut up, I've... <sighs> You're recording again? What? It's hardly your first crime on tape. And if we're going to question her... Huh? Is that what we're doing? You're making a mistake, oh, is what you're doing. You thought we were going to, uh, you know, kill her. El Elias didn't say. No, he doesn't, uh... <laughs> He's not big on micromanagement. It's Elias now, then. What is this place? The trophy room. A taxidermist shop in Barnet. It says above the door. Surprised to meet an archivist who can't read. Uh, no, I... <laughs> nice. Come on. Before the mat get here. Whatever you say. <laughs> and wipe that grin off your face. Are you all right? They didn't hurt you? Oh, or... no, no, I'm... I'm okay. I mean, my skin's in better condition than ever. Is that a weird thing to say? A bit. Who are you? Julia, who are you? Uh, uh, you don't know me. <laughs> Should I? No, I, I guess. Just, uh, I mean, everyone normally seems to. Hmm, good for you. Uh, not really. Oh, so who are you? Oh, uh... Uh, Jonathan. Uh, John Sims. Uh, I'm the head archivist for the Magnus Institute, London. Huh, you don't say. So what brings you down to the I-70? Pennsylvania. Well, she could make people tell her stuff sometimes. They suddenly get really talkative and lay out whatever she needed. She didn't do it often, though. I don't think she liked it. Oh, uh, I can do that too. <laughs> right. Do you like it? I, I don't know. I... I never really thought about it. Yes, I suppose I do. Hmm. Thing is, it's harder than it looks. What's out there I doesn't care about blood. Well, I, I mean, except for the vampires. Yeah, obviously, except for the vampires. I'm sorry. Basira's off doing God knows what, and I can't talk to Melanie. Mm-hmm. I suppose. I miss you. Do you want to do this or what? To... That's it. Hardly worth a rib. All right. You all right? Ask me that already. Right. Sorry. I didn't ask her to do that. It's fine. You're not babysitting me, all right? I know that's what the others think sometimes, but that's not it. I just don't like being on my own if I can help it. You know... Flashbacks, panic attacks, the usual. Just trying to avoid it if I can. I know, Daisy. I, I do. It's hard. Yeah, well. Statement ends. Hmm. Neil Ligorio. You ever see any of his work? No, not really into films. Oh, they were. Well, let's just say it's not a complete shock. That was something unnatural to them. Didn't know we had copies in the Institute, though. Let alone original cuts. Records indicate they ended up in artefact storage. Probably best they stay there. Yeah. Yes, of course. You need to stop moping. I what? You need to stop swanning around, being all sad. I'm, I'm not swanning around. Ooh, I'm so alone and a monster. I am alone. Martin Busy is... Busy doing paperwork. Not like he's dead. Besides, he's not the only other person here, you know. There's me... Melanie Basira. Traumatised, traumatised and paranoid because of me. Get over yourself. You're always talking about choices. We all made ours. Now we're making a choice to get some drinks in. Come in. I don't. I... Yeah. OK. Melanie's out, but I'll go get Basira. Is she... Would she want to join us? If she doesn't, I'll rip her throat out. Uh. It's a joke, John. Oh. <laughs> yes. I, I'll get my coat. Have you got a pen? Uh, yeah, in the drawer. Uh, John? What's this? Mm hmm? Oh. That's... That, uh, that's my rib. Right. Yep. And the jar of ashes. Uh, not, not mine. I, I mean, it belongs to me. I, I guess, but it's not. Uh, Stationery is in the other drawer. Everything all right? Just making sure it works. Still don't think we should have brought it. Oh, it's better than no warning at all. 
Especially if I'm trying not to uh, see things, you know. I guess. You're unpacked then? Hmm? Oh, yes. Much as I can without any wardrobes to speak of, at least. Yeah, it's, it's not exactly the Ritz. Well, it technically still belongs to Daisy, so... I'm just glad it's not some sort of kill room. Or, or it is, and she just cleaned it up really well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are we... Are we safe here? Safe as anywhere else. If Elias wanted to find us, I imagine he could, but I doubt the police would be able to. If nothing else, I'm hoping there'd be some jurisdiction complications in Scotland or so, something. Somehow I don't think Daisy will be worried about jurisdictions. I... I don't think she'd come here. Doesn't look like this place has been used for years. And if she does? Well, at least we'll know where she is. <laughs> Besides, I'm more worried about the other hunters. Or the... the Sasha thing. Last I heard, they still hadn't found any bodies. A lot of destruction, a lot of blood, but that's it. You think they're still out there? Hopefully a long way out there. But I think we're okay. Not much in the way of food, is there? Oh, no, not yet. I was actually going to head down into the village to go pick something up. Hmm. Maybe give Basira a call to check in, because Daisy apparently couldn't pick a safe house with a signal. I so. think that's rather the point. Mm. Anyway, don't tell me the phone box down there doesn't appeal to your retro aesthetic. It might. Maybe. You'll be okay here? I'll be fine. How was she? Oh, same as last week. Institute still crawling with police. I mean, they've finished all the interviews. Apparently they're calling it a terror attack. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Appropriate, in a way. Mm. Does she know who they're looking to blame? They're not really talking to her about it. Sectioned or not, I guess ex-police only gets you so far. Mm. Does she know if they've found the old prison yet? The panopticon, or like Magnus's body? I don't know how hard they're looking, to be honest. Basira says a few of them got lost in the tunnels for over a day, and it's not like the promise of an old man's corpse is much of a motivator. Mm. Still, she did manage to talk them out of burning the whole place to the ground. Oh, ah, actually, that reminds me. Um, ah, these, these are the statements? Uh, yes. Basira said last week she'd send some up as soon as the archives weren't a crime scene. Yes. Uh, she wasn't sure which one she'd read already, so she, she just said she'd send a bunch. There's tapes in here as well. Did, did she say anything about tapes? She didn't mention it, but I didn't check it till after the call. Mm. I assume it's her attempt at a, a, a varied diet, eating your greens, you know? <laughs> Probably. I'm sure it'll work fine. Cool. Well, as fun as listening to you, monologue is, mm. I will give you some privacy. Go for a walk. Let me know if you see any good cows. Uh, obviously, I'm going to tell you if I see any good cows. <laughs> Right. Careful! Shh. Surprise! Surprise! Jesus! Happy birthday, boss. Happy... Oh, are you okay? No, I... Christ, one second. Sorry, sorry, Tim wanted to surprise you and... Snitch? No, it's fine. Thank you. Just a shock. Well, that's the idea. Indeed. Though, uh, honestly, the bottle of wine was... Just fine. <laughs> yeah, as a decoy. Yes, well, thank you. This is very elaborate of you. Plus, it was kind of fun giving you a heart attack. Hmm, <laughs> I'm sure. I noticed you didn't jump out at Martin when he had a birthday. No, he's way too jumpy as it is. <laughs> we were worried he might damage himself. Hey! Well, I preferred going out for ice cream anyway. You went for ice cream? Yes, you were there. You had rum and raisin and taught us all about emulsifiers. Oh, right, yes. I, I remember. Via. Well, thank you anyway. This is all very touching. We just wanted to do something to lighten the mood, you know? Yes, I'm aware it's been a rough start. That's not what this was about. We just thought you could use a chance to unwind. <sighs> I suppose it couldn't hurt. Knock, knock. Double boss. Elias? I'm not too late for cake, am I? There's a cake? How 
did you... Martin, that was a secret. I didn't say anything. He didn't have to. Nothing escapes my notice, and I like to keep an eye out for this sort of thing. Well, it's good to see you. Yes, y- yes, uh, come in. So, how old is the birthday boy? Uh, 38. Liar? <laughs> how would you know? Well, does someone need to change their password again? I, what? <laughs> Sasha, have you been going through Definitely my computer? Definitely not. No idea what he's talking about. Of course not. <laughs> it's really not appropriate. Oh, come on, guys. Anyway, uh, did somebody mention cake? Uh, yeah. You did. Oh, yes, I did. Didn't I? <sighs> all right, all right. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now anyway. Look, just give me a second. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Archivist. Happy birthday to you. Right, yes, thank you. I do hope you're not planning to light those candles. Oh, goodness. A source of ignition in the archives. Uh Uh-oh. Tim. Oh, whoops. Sorry, my hand slipped. And again, and again, and a couple more times here. I'm so clumsy today. That is a lot of fire. I'm really not comfortable with... So, blow them out then. Oh. Right, yes. And make a wish. If I wish for you all to go away, do you think it'll work? He's so grumpy today, isn't he, Martin? Uh, Oh, well... Do you think it's his looming sense of mortality? I I don't Fine. So, what did you wish for? I can't tell you. He wished for a little bit of peace and quiet. Was it that obvious? Oh, I wouldn't worry, John. It's an archive. Quiet is very much the course du jour. Well, after the party, at least. Wine? Anyone? It's eleven in the morning. Yeah, at your birthday party. I really don't think it's a. I'll allow it. In fact, I'll join you. Oh, okay, I'm... All, all right, then? Martin? Oh, uh, I mean, I don't normally drink wine, you know, t- tannins are a proven headache trigger, and so... Martin? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, maybe, just a, a drop. <laughs> you know that there's a lot of tannin in tea as well. What? Hang on, have you been recording this? Uh, oh, yeah, I just thought it might be nice. You know, something to look back on when we're all old and sick of each other. You probably should have told us, Tim. What, are you afraid we're going to get sued over the happy birthday song? Oh, oh well, I am now. <laughs> it's just a bit of a privacy thing. Oh, all right, all right, fine. Look, I'm turning it off. Any last words for your future selves? Yes. Fire Tim. <laughs> <laughs> um, I found some rope in the attic and I packed oh, that I... with the maps. Uh, Martin. No, no, I, I know what you're going to say. What good are maps when the very earth has... Blah, blah, blah. Yes. But I, I pat them anyway because you never know. Martin. I, I actually I actually found a stash of tea under the kitchen sink. I, I realise we don't need to eat or whatever, but, you know, that doesn't yes, mean that we... Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. We've got this. Apparently so. Martin? Martin? Martin, I hate your tea and wish you made coffee instead. So, how much can you see? What else do you know? Uh, maybe everything. What do you mean, everything? I don't... ask me a question. One I can't possibly know already. Okay. What's my middle name? Huh. You don't have one. Whoa. You... I actually believed oh, so, you. Sorry, sorry, I just, I just wanted to try it out. That's ridiculous, I thought. That's not a real name, but he wouldn't lie okay, to okay, me. Okay, 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 let's, let's try something a little bigger, then. But Annabelle... Nothing. Hmm. Well, I'll... I'll ask her next time she calls. Well, I know that's a bad idea. Do you? Okay, no, that one was a very reasonable guess. Ah. Anything else? I'll, I'll be honest, I'm starting to feel a bit... Self-conscious, being a post-apocalyptic Google. What? Just taking a moment to look. You two are just such an adorable couple. Enough. See you soon.
Maybe she's right. I am not, nor have I ever been, adorable. <laughs> okay, not true, but I actually meant the whole being friends thing. Either way, best not to actually climb onto the thing, if we could help it. Fine by me. <laughs> Never really liked merry-go-rounds anyway. No? You've gone on any recently? What? Uh, no, I don't think so. Not since I was a kid. I actually, uh... There's one at London Zoo. Uh, was one at London Zoo. Big old thing. Went quite fast, actually. Su surprisingly thrilling. <laughs> what? Seriously? It was years back, before the Institute. I, I was in a weird place. Had a good time, though. <laughs> well... I mean, obviously I wouldn't want to ride this one. We've got quite enough thrills already. Are you sure? I could speak to an attendant. I would advise against doing that. You're joking. I'm not. So was it any good? Uh, what do you mean? Was it a good poem? I don't know. No. You're the poetry expert, Martin, not me. Well, did it stir any feeling in you? Yes. Nausea. Because of the horrible things in it. That's not quite what I meant. Then I don't know what you mean, Martin. I'm not a poetry person. I don't get it. I never have. That's, that's fine. I understand. Look, I'm better than I was. I used to think all poetry was bad. Sorry, what? I mean, I just thought of... I sort of thought it was pointless. Just write some prose and stop wasting everyone's time. Hmm. What changed? I don't know. I just mellowed on it, I suppose. That's kind of weird. In my defence, there is a lot of bad poetry out there. I guess. Then, then yeah, let's do it. Let's go full Kill Bill. I, I, I haven't seen it. It's weird, knowing that you can know literally everything I think and feel, especially since you're not exactly the most open of people. Emotionally, I mean. Well, that's not fair. I share. Sure you do. I do. Okay, so how exactly would you describe your current emotional state regarding all of this? Go on, I'm all in. I feel... Mm hmm I feel... sad. Sad. Very sad. Very sad. Yes, all right, point taken. She didn't control me into asking you not to look into my head, if that's what you're thinking. That's all me. Man, I'm not looking for a loophole. Well, good, because this isn't one. Methinks the spider doth protest too much. John? Joking. Just joking. <laughs> so, if you say Gertrude wouldn't have been able to go on without a reason... Yes, Martin, you are my reason. Just wanted to make you say it. Cool. He woke me up. Wow, what a hero. Martin? What? What? Yeah, all right, I know. I'm sorry. Is there something you want to talk no, about? No, I'm or? fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm sorry. Martin? I said it's fine. Are you jealous? I told you not to know things about me. <sighs> I really didn't have I... to. Good. Because I'm definitely not. All right. Look, I'm fine, all right? You said. Yes, I did. And, he, and even if I was jealous, I would be perfectly justified anyway, so... But you're not. No. And I'm fine. All right. Good. Good. Great. All right, fine. Yes, yes, I am jealous, right? Yes, if you absolutely must know. Because he woke me up. I was there weeks and nothing. He talks to you for five minutes and suddenly you're back on your feet and bouncing around like a, like a spring I chicken. I mean, that's really not... I mean, what's not... so special about him that you wake up for him and not me, hmm? Enlighten me. I mean, that's that's not really how it worked. It, it wasn't... Look, Martin, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm not going to kill a man just because you're jealous. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Please. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, I need to, um... Now? Seriously? We're almost out of here. I'm sorry. Not really up to me. Fine. If you're bored, you could always take in a show. That's... that's not funny, John. If you say so. Is it much further? Yes. 
I'm not entirely sure what you were expecting. It's the vast. The clue is in the name. Yes, all right. Just be glad that this is one of the domains that actually has ground to walk on. Whatever. So how far are we from the other side? And and don't say time and space don't work here, that's a cop-out and you know it. Fine. Three days. Thank you. Wait. Wait, what counts as a day? What an excellent question. Oh my god, you can be infuriating sometimes, you know that. Yes. Fine. Oh, okay, now I'm worried. What's your... Ah, ah. Hmm. Don't move. Don't you fucking move. <laughs> and don't you say a word or I'll cut him open. I know what the voice of yours can do, so shut it. Mm-hmm. Prove you're real. I... What? Like, like, pinch you or... <sighs> Prove you're really Martin Blackwood. How? You could do a poem. Shut up. John, this is serious. What's something only Martin would know? What? I don't know. Fine. No, 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 wait, wait. Uh, uh, God, I don't know. We've never hung out much. I've no idea what you know about me. What about you? I mean, I can know literally anything, so ask away, I guess. You understand how unhelpful that is for proving identity. I'm sorry to be an inconvenience. 